What's up everybody? It's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body. Today I've got a few a total upper body home dumbbell workout. We're actually going to be hitting a little bit of the core too. Now just for reference guys, I'm going to be personally using a pair of 30 pound dumbbells. If you're a beginner, I'd recommend about 15 to 20 pounds, intermediate 20, 25, 30. And if you're advanced, 30, you want to push it, try 35. And might even, you might even be able to do actually a pair of 40 pound dumbbells. And if you do, be sure to let me know down in the comments what you were able to do and how many rounds you were able to perform in this workout. Other than that guys, let's get straight to this thing. Okay, very first thing we're gonna be going through here is five warm-up exercises. The first one we're gonna be doing is some forward arm circles. We got 10 repetitions, ready and go. Nice and slow and under control. Nothing shallow, no shallow circles. Nothing ridiculously large either. It's gonna be perfect for warming up the rotator cuff, which is very essential uh, for all upper body exercise, pretty much for every exercise. Two more and then we're gonna be switching directions. We're gonna go backwards here. And good, alternating the other way. And then also for getting those deltoids warmed up a little bit too. You'll notice a bit in your traps there too. It's very important that we're warming up. Good, five more and we begin to do our next exercise. We'll be focusing on that core. Three more, two, last one, and good. So how I like to perform this, toss the arms up here. What we're doing is just rotating from one side all the way to the other. We got 10 total repetitions, ready and go. Those feet are staying planted the whole time. This is to focus on stretching the abdominal muscles, the obliques, middle and lower back. You'll notice a little bit of that upper back getting stretched there too. Three more on each side. Good. Two more. Always breathing. I know it's just our warm up, but it's good to always do that. One more on each. And good. Next, we're going to be getting into some push pulls. So, how we perform this is quite simple. So you're pushing out, squeezing the chest as you push out, and then bringing the arms back and squeezing the upper back muscles. So we're going to be going for 10 total repetitions, five to the front, five to the back. Ready and go, squeezing that chest, coming back, squeezing the back there. You'll notice those shoulders are getting a bit warmed up too. Slow tempo. You can get the legs moving a little bit too. Two more in each. One more in each, squeezing that chest. And terrific. Okay, for our last exercise, we're gonna be finishing off a bit of the core. We got some side stretches. So I typically just like that in my hand on this side. We're coming over here and then stretching, just getting some momentum as we're doing this. And then coming over to the other side and we're getting the same. We got five for each side. Ready and go. And you're gonna feel that stretch in your lat, the obliques, and that middle and lower back as well. And switch. You might hear some popping in the back, that's fine. As long as there's no pain, you're totally good. Okay, let's get into our very first exercise. And what we've got here is some dumbbell bent over flats. So, you're gonna get your back just a little bit lower than a 45 degree angle, and you're gonna be flying out to the side there. So the arms will be slightly bent, not straight, not really bent, you know, just got a soft bend in there. And we got 10, or sorry, eight repetitions. Keep that lower back nice and straight, ready and go. And this is gonna be good for hitting that rear head of the delt and as well for hitting some of that upper back. Three more, two, last one and good. Next exercise we got here, some good old dumbbell rows. So the back on about a 45 degree angle, lower back nice and straight. We'll be bringing those dumbbells up towards the torso, squeezing the shoulder blades together and slowly we're turning the weight back down. So we got 20 repetitions here. Ready and go. Three, making sure that we're getting that real nice squeeze in the upper back there. That's five, eight, nine, always breathing. 10, halfway, nine more, eight, seven, six, Five, really get a squeeze there. Four, three, two more. Last one, and terrific. Keeping the dumbbells with us, we're gonna get in here. Some good old dumbbell shrugs, so we can hit the traps. We got 15, bring those shoulders up, nice and high towards the ears. Ready, and go. Get a nice squeeze at the top there too, with our trap muscles. It's very important that we hit the upper back, 
the rear delt, and the traps. These are muscles that a lot of guys and girls tend to miss. And because of this, it causes an imbalance in the front uh, portion of your body. You know, your chest, front head of your delt becomes too strong and develops imbalances which can cause injuries. Three more, two, last one, and terrific. Toss the dumbbells down, give your hands a bit of a shake. I know sometimes I get a little bit sore in the forearms. Maybe that's just me. So for the next exercise we got here, some dumbbell clean and press. So the dumbbells on either side, you'll demonstrate it with them. You're gonna be lifting them up. You're gonna snatch it right there. So when I say snatch, just switching it so that you can get into that pressing motion. And then from here, above the head. We're gonna perform this for a total of 12 repetitions. There's gonna be no pause at this portion. It's just gonna be directly into it. So we got 12 repetitions. Ready and go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, I feel the shoulders getting worked there. Four, three more, two, last one, and terrific. Okay, we're gonna be hitting the deck here, and we're gonna be getting into some of the core. So on our butt, you're only gonna need one of these dumbbells here. What we're gonna be doing here is your back is gonna be on about a 45 pole top. You're gonna be intertwining your feet together and you're rotating from side to side here. Now the purpose is not just to bring the dumbbell down with your arms, it's to rotate with the trunk. Keep it tight, keep it tight to your torso. It does not need to hit the ground. If you can't do it with the dumbbell, then just do it with your body weight. We got a total of 16 reps. That's eight for each side. Feet up, can't get the feet up, and just keep them down and perform rotations as such. Ready, and go. Four, four, three more. Three more in each. Breathing, squeezing that core, and good. But from here, we're gonna be getting into 15 crunches with the dumbbell. So the crunch, all you're focusing on doing is just getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Keep that chin off the chest. You're obviously gonna have the dumbbell up onto the chest. Chin off the chest, bringing those shoulder blades off the ground, squeezing the top, slowly coming back down. I don't want you resting on the bottom, I want you coming right back up. And we got a total of 15 repetitions. Ready, and go. Squeezing the hell out of those upper abs at the top of each motion. The reason I say upper abs is because the crunch focuses mostly on those upper abs. Good, eight more. Hold it at the top there for a second. As soon as you come back down, fair, right back up. Six more, five, four, three more. Hold it at the top there for a second. Good, two more. Last one. And terrific. Okay, next exercise we got here, some plyometric push-ups. You actually won't need the dumbbells for this one. That's how this works. You're gonna be doing it from the knees. Chill out, guys. I know that some of you guys are gonna say those are girl push-ups. Check out what I'm about to show you here. So you intertwine the ankles. So, normal push-up, you'd be coming down and coming right back up. Plyo push-ups, you're explosively coming off the ground. If you can, I want you to try and do a clap push-up in between each repetition. For those of you that can't get your hands off the ground, just do them as explosively as you possibly can. We got 12 repetitions. Ready and go. Bring that chest all the way to the ground. I need you repetition there. Nine more. Keep those elbows nice and tight to the torso on each rep. As explosively as you can. Can't get the hands off? Do your best to try to. Four more. Three. Breathing. One more. And good work. Okay, next we got some dumbbell floor presses to hit a little bit more of that chest. So grab the dumbbells on each side of you. Get your foot on the ground. We're technically doing a bench press with the dumbbells, but we're not gonna be able to go full distance because the floor, or the elbows will hit the floor. That's why we did the plyo push-ups first, pre-exhaust the chest. 
So how we do these, it's the exact same like I said with the dumbbell bench press. Coming down, those elbows touch, coming right back up. I don't want you to spend any time down here or down there. Constantly in the motion. We got 15 repetitions. Ready, and go. Make those nice and explosive. Don't slam those elbows in the ground, they can just lightly touch. Five more. Four, three, two, one more. And good. Sometimes I like to get a little bit extra. Okay, next we got for our triceps, we can still hang on to these dumbbells. How is this gonna work? You gotta keep your dumbbells up here. You're bending at the elbow, they're coming down, touching the shoulders, and then extending right back up. From arm, or sorry, from your shoulder to your elbow, the upper arm there, it's not moving at all. But we got a total of 10 repetitions. Bring those up, ready, and go. Nice and controlled. You're definitely gonna feel the burn on the triceps with this one. After those plyo push-ups, and those dumbbell floor presses, whoo, man. Five more, four, push. I know the burn, I can feel it too. Three, two more, one more, and good work. Woo, terrific. I'm telling you it's hot, it's hot in here. It's the hottest day of the year for us right now, so far in Canada. It's about 28 degrees inside here with the light, hot as hell. Okay, the last exercise we got here, we're gonna be performing the notorious, okay, 21. So how this is performed is simple. This is a full bicep curl. We're gonna be splitting this up into three distinct movements. Really only two, actually. First portion of the movement, you're just getting the bottom half of the motion. The second portion of the movement, you're only getting the top half of the movement. And the last and third final portion, you're gonna be getting the full range of motion. So we're gonna be getting seven at the half portion, okay? Seven at the upper half portion, and then seven full repetitions the last exercise of this workout. So let's get ready to get this one here and push through it. So seven for the first bottom of the half, and then we're going on to the upper half. Ready, and go. Nice and slow and under control. Those biceps should be pretty fresh right now. They haven't been worked yet. And good, transition now. Six more. Five, four, three more, two, last one, and good. Seven full repetitions, ready, and go. Six, five, four more, three, feel that burn, baby. Two more, last one, Woo. there you go. Oh my God, those biceps are screaming. So there you guys go. That's a total upper body home dumbbell workout. We even hit a little bit of the core there. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. If you think you're really tough, I'll be trying to do it two times. And if you guys do do it two times, by the way, definitely let your boy know down in the comments. I wanna congratulate you personally, it's pretty impressive. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. And if you did, be sure to give it a like down below. And also be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you won't wanna miss. Thanks so much for joining me guys, see you in the next video.